Exalted Entertainment Radio. This is Kiara D. And today on The Love Factor, I am excited because I am talking to my sisters. Yes, we're talking about going from girls to women. It's time for us to grow up, ladies. And so today I'm going to share with you a few things that's going to help us to establish whether we're still acting as girls or if we are operating as women okay so just i I want all my sisters to tune in with me on today and um fellas if you know any sisters that could benefit from this go ahead you know share this share this podcast with them or you can share the link on your facebook page whatever you want to do just to get the word out but i'm telling you we're going to learn how to act like real women today so ladies first and foremost let me just start by saying this i heard a wise man say (laughs) let me just say who this wise man name is his name is rc blakes he's the author of the father daughter talk and he also has a radio show out in new orleans i once heard him say that your dress code is your personal commercial what does that mean basically Whatever you put out to be, whatever you present yourself as, that's who you put yourself out to be. And so when you're getting people coming up to you in such a way, whereas you're attracting negative attention, it's probably due to how you're presenting yourself. For instance, I go to the grocery store all the time and it just, it gets under my skin when I see a sister that's so beautiful, so pretty. I see I see a young lady and she'll be wearing some pajama pants or she might have on a headscarf or a bandana or something looking like Aunt Jemima. And I'm just like, she must not know her worth. Mm. Sometimes I might see females outside in house shoes, but again, they're house shoes. So that means they need to be staying in the house. Okay, so these are the things I'm seeing and I'm just like, it's time for me to address this issue because we got to do better. We have got to do better. So, lady, it's time, ladies, for us to step it up, upgrade ourselves and be women of class and women of character. So next time you see somebody at the grocery store looking like who did it and what for, you might, if you know how to tailor your words properly and address things in love then you might want to pull them aside and just encourage her to do better in that area but sometimes we don't know and so unfortunately it's those things that we don't know that will ultimately make us look (laughs) like we really ignorant and so I just want to encourage you all to start embracing each other in that area if you know your homegirl gets down like that tell her homegirl Put on some pants or something. It takes two seconds to throw on some pants. And if you don't like, if you don't like sweatpants, okay, well, they're stretch pants. If you don't feel like ironing, you could get some leggings on and you could still look presentable. I recall I went to the grocery store one time and I saw this young lady. She was very, very pretty. Long hair or it might have been a sew-in. I don't know. <laughs> None of my business, right? Well, anyways, she had on a pair of sweats. And I did not realize how pretty she was until she turned around. And that was enough for me to say, okay, you know, I don't even want to go to the grocery store no more or out in public anymore for that matter. And just some regular sweats. If I'm going to wear some sweats, they better be stylish. My Victoria's Secret sweats or something. Because I need to make sure that I'm presenting myself as the queen I am. And you ladies should do the same. But as I said, your dress code is your personal commercial. So when you present yourself like that in public, it says you don't have enough respect for yourself. It says, hey, brother, come come holler at me because I'm easy. I'm an easy catch. That's what it says. It tells men that you don't have that much class about you. So you're probably on their level. You're probably on their level if they don't have too many standards. Now, a brother with standards... And a brother with morals, nine times out of ten, he's not going to chase after those that look like they're easy if he's serious about what he wants in a woman. But oftentimes, more oftentimes than not, we would get these men who would chase after them girls in the PJs or in the bandanas or 
at the at the gym because I know sometimes ladies you probably be like, "Ooh, I look a hot mess. Why he holler at me?" Yeah, because the reason why he hollering at you is because he see you as somebody that he could easily push the envelope with. So don't be naive in this area. I want you all to be wise in this area. Now, the other thing I want to address is when it comes to relationships, we as women, we could be so territorial and we shortchange ourselves in a lot of ways in relationships. What do I mean by that? I see all the time uh, women being acceptable of their fella cheating on them. And why do I say that? It's because she'll take him back time and time again. And it's like, oh, now he knows that he get away with it. But let her find out who he's cheating with and she wants to fight the other female. What's up with that? I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe you could tell me what's going on. Remember, if you want to get in on this conversation, just click on the chat icon and I can see your comments and we could correspond with each other right away. All right. So again, we're talking about going from girls to being women and how we as women need to grow up. One thing I've noticed is when you're dealing with a woman of class, she's never going to stoop down to anybody's level. And so you won't see her. You won't see the classy woman out at the grocery store with a scarf on her head. Now, unless it's a head wrap and it's looking very presentable. And that's the other thing, ladies. If your hair is ever a mess and you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to throw a scarf on. You know what? You could put on a little beanie a bonnet, whatever those things are called. Um, you could also do a head wrap. There's ways around it without looking tacky. If I must have, if I have to use that word, there's ways around looking presentable. Even when your hair is a mess, if you can't just whoop it up in a ponytail, then you might want to get one of those items or you get a hat. Sometimes a hat might work for you depending on your hair style or your length or whatever. But, it's ways for us to still look presentable. I know there has been a number of times where I have to get up early in the morning and take my daughter to school. And unfortunately, I'm not always in a position to do my hair first thing in the morning. Why? One thing, I'm a natural. Yes, I love my natural sisters, okay? But I'm a natural. And so my hair is very thick and very coarse and Therefore, I have to have a lot of maintenance or put in a lot of effort to make it look presentable when I really do want to step out. Or sometimes I could do the fro. I could rock a nice little curly fro and be just fine. But that's not always the case. So if I don't have time for that curly fro or if I don't have the right products to do my hair with for that morning because I might have just taken a style out or something the night before I went to sleep. You know, that's when I turn to putting the hair wrap on or putting on one of those beanies, bonnets, whatever they're called, okay? Because I still want to look presentable. I don't want anybody to look at me in public and be like, oh, you look a mess. Or I don't ever want it to be to the point where I feel like I'm not presentable enough to be in a picture. If you ever at that point where you like, oh, I look a mess, I can't take a picture right now. Mm -mm -mm. And you out in public? Yeah, sister home girl. I'm going to need you to come on back and get it together, all right? The other thing, ladies, stop out. Stop with all these oversized T-shirts. Just cut it out, okay? <laughs> we can't keep wearing these oversized T-shirts because you know what? Nine times out of ten, that deals with a level of insecurity. You're insecure about how you feel about your body. You're insecure about how you look. Or if that's not the case, I would hope that it's more so the fact that you don't have the means to get anything that's a lot more fit, a little more fitting. So either it's insecurities or you don't have the means. But I would encourage you to show your figure regardless. Honey, if you got a little extra meat on there, it's okay. Get a girdle. It's a girdle for that. It's an app for that. Okay. You, <laughs> you can get... And I'm sorry if, if you feel like I'm telling the brothers our secrets, okay? But 
go ahead and get a waist trainer or get one of those crazy wrap things. I don't know. But do something that works for you and find something that accentuates your curves or your body. Find something that complements you because we need to embrace us for who we are. And if you don't like what you see in the mirror, honey, you can do something about it. You don't have to continue to settle for something that you don't like. Here I am, two kids later, and unfortunately, I still got a little, uh, little pudge, just a little bit, Mm -hmm. (laughs) but I'm working towards having that six pack that I want. Okay. Beach body here. I come. Yes, I am coming by the summertime. It's going to be right. Trust. And I'm doing whatever I have to do in order to get to where I want to be. So that means eating better. That means exercising. That means taking care of my temple. Because we only get one body in. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't really care for their body until it gets to the point where they are dealing with a terminal illness. You don't have to let it get that far. You could do better than that. We we can take care of our bad bodies before we get to that point to where we are forced to take care of our bodies. Right now, if you're you're in a position to take care of your body voluntarily, keep it that way. Take care of it right now while you can. And again, if weight is an issue, honey, still look in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful. And I'm working towards being even more beautiful. Okay. Continue to tell yourself that don't get discouraged by what you see in the mirror. Do all your homework, research, look up on the internet. What do I have to do to get fit? Because if you continue to work at it, I guarantee you're going to see results. Now, okay. I'm sorry. I went on a whole tangent right there. If, again, if you want to get in on a conversation, just click the chat icon and I can see your comments and we could chat it up. We could talk about what we're talking about right now, girls to women. And yes, it's time for us to grow up. Now let's get on to the relationship segment of things. Ladies, ladies, ladies. If you see another female talking to your man out in public, say you're probably at church or the grocery store or something, it is is and I'm I'm guilty of this. I used to do this. But it's kind of like a sign of insecurity when you walk up as if she's trying to take your man. Honey, if you know that you that chick, if you know that you occupy that number one spot in his life and the only spot, why compete for a position that you already have? It's no need to compete. You already got him. So what you worried about somebody else coming to get him for? If you know he can hold it on. Now, if he, if you know infidelity has been a thing of the past or has been a problem in your relationship, I kind of understand. And I, I just pray that, you know, you all can work things out. But don't allow your insecurities to show in public, okay? If you ever notice a moment of class is always well poised. She's always carrying herself in the love with a level of dignity and she doesn't do anything that's questionable. So if you're a queen, queens don't compete, boo. It's no competition. Game's over. You've already won the game. Okay. So if you're a queen and you know, you got a king on your hand, honey, stop competing with all these other small minded females. Stop competing with all these other chicks. That's that might think they have an opportunity with your man it's not that deep because you already occupy that number one space in his heart and if you know you taking care of home and doing what you got to do then it's nothing to worry about okay again if you want to get in on this conversation just click on the chat icon and i can see what you have to say and i will read it over the air okay okay so ladies one other thing i want to bring up to you all is I know, like I said before, we could be very territorial. But on the flip side, sometimes we could be very naive and we underestimate our worth. We underestimate our value. And so therefore, we settle for being that side chick. Yes, I said it, the side chick. Ladies, you are worth so much more than being somebody side piece. And that's exactly what it is. He's just trying to get him a piece on the side. So stop falling prey to that trap and thinking, oh, he's going to leave his chick for you. Honey, if he's been with her all this time, do you really think he's going to just dip set, leave his girl for you? 
Some cases it works, but honey, think about it. If he's cheating with you, then if once you get him, he's going to cheat on you too. So don't fall prey to the trap. Don't fall victim to the trap because you're worth so much more than that. I'm tired of seeing side chicks, side pieces, just being happy with being on the side. Like, do you not know your worth? Do you not know how valuable you are? Do you not know that you have so much more potential? And I get tired of seeing females get played. That's the other thing. <laughs> okay, that's a whole... It's not just females. When it comes to cheating, that's just one thing that I really have... I, I really don't like seeing, okay? But that's a whole nother radio show. And we're going to have somebody on the show to really kind of dig into that subject matter. But until that time, right now, what I'm getting at is you don't have to settle for cheating. Make that marriage, make that relationship whatever it is that you have going on in your life make it work it's possible i I heard a saying once upon a time that said um they lived in the age whereas when things got broke when things were broke they fixed it and it was a picture of an old couple and so it's like nowadays we are getting comfortable with being just in a broken relationship we're getting comfortable with not putting forth effort of trying to make it work. And sometimes, and some of you may have put forth that effort. Some of you might have already said, you know, I've done all I can. Okay, well, boo, just stand. Just continue to stand. Pray and just keep doing your part because it's either going to do one or two things. Either you're going to grow closer or you're going to grow farther apart and then you're going to depart. Which allows you to start a new life. So if you know you really do what you got to do to make it work, grind until it happens. Grind until your relationship becomes the relationship that you desire. And continue to pray for it because I, 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 know, I know this is not necessarily a quote-unquote Christian radio show because we cover everything that's regarding love. And so, yes, even though I believe in Christian Christianity, and the principles, I know that's not everybody's belief. And so, either way, whatever it is that you believe in, <laughs> and of course, y'all know how I really feel about that. But as I was saying, just continue to pray and believe that it's going to work out for the good. Whichever way it happens, whether that means you guys grow closer or grow apart and you depart. Just believe that it's going to be for your good, okay? Don't give up the fight. But... Ladies, the other thing, <laughs> it really, it really pains me to see when females continue to fall for the same trap over and over again. It's like, oh my gosh, how did I end up here? But you have people in your circle, you have people that you know is telling you, oh, he's a player. Or you have people in your life telling you, oh, he's not about, he's not about what he's really putting out to be. My father-in-law, he could read a, he could read a brother up and down in 2.5 seconds and he'll tell you what he's all about okay so i'm sure there are some of you who might have those type of individuals in your life who are able to read others i know for me when i was younger and i was really dating into the dating scene it was like every time i brought somebody home to mama she could pretty much smell <laughs> smell a snake from a far away. Like she didn't have to know much about him, but she knew oh something wasn't right. And I was so hard headed that it took for me to go through a number of heartaches instead of just listening to her right up front. I'm just like thinking, Oh, mama just tripping, mama just strict, oh mama just don't want me to be with nobody. But no, that's my mother at the end of the day. She wanted the best for me. And a lot of people don't understand that sometimes those want very people that are in your corner, they just want the best for you. So when they're forewarning you about somebody, you might just need to take heed to avoid another heartache. You got to do better, ladies. We've got to do better. Okay? So stop falling prey to the victim. Stop falling prey to these fellas that that's not even worth your time. Stop playing a wife to someone who ain't even put a ring on the finger. Okay? Again, I was quoting earlier in the show about R.C. Blakes, who is, again, he's an author. R.C. Blakes Jr. is an author, a minister, as well as a radio show host. 
And recently he quoted on his Instagram, he said, a girl's appearance is the appetizer, is the appetizer. A girl's mind is the main course. A girl's body, which is sex, is the dessert. When she gives a man the dessert before he commits to the main course, he loses his appetite. So in other words, why pay for the cow when you get it for free? So many females is like, oh my gosh, when am I going to get married? Oh my gosh, uh, I don't understand what's wrong with me. Um, I can't figure it out. It's like, I, I just can't find the right one. Baby, you got to stop playing the wifely, bro, before you get the ring. You got to stop because, let me tell you, and I said this a few weeks ago, my husband told me, had I gave up the goods before we got married, we probably would have never got married. Why? Because to him, that would have said that I was easy. To him, that would have said, oh, why, why pay for the cow when I can get it from free? And I see this play out time and time again. Females falling prey to the same schemes over and over again. And she's wondering why she keeps falling into the same trap. Now, I would encourage you to go back and listen to our previous shows over the last few weeks. Whereas we talked about saving yourself. And we get a little bit more detail into that as to how to hold yourself into marriage, okay? Regardless if you already have a past, regardless if you already have history with somebody, it's still possible for you to hold yourself to marriage. I did it. Regardless of my past, I still was able to go celebrate and say, you know what? I want to do this thing the right way. Yes, I'm putting my name, I'm putting my business all out there because I want to see you free. I'm putting my business all out there because I want to see you do better. I want to see my sister stop falling for the same nonsense. We are so much better than that. So much better than that. And so, again, uh, you could also go to check out our other radio show a couple of weeks ago. The one me and my husband did together. It's called Setting Boundaries Between for uh, Marriage and Dating or something along those lines. It's, it's about setting boundaries within marriage and dating okay so i encourage you to go check out those two radio shows and you will get a boatload of information as to how to be the woman that you really desire to be because i know it's in you i know you can do better than that you don't have to settle for being just a baby mama you don't have to settle for just being uh, a side chick honey let me upgrade you let me help you to see what you're really worth So you can take your standards to the next level and stop settling. (laughs) By the way, speaking of stop settling, this month coming up on the show, we will have Dr. Corey Guyton, who is an author as well. And he, his brand is all about settling. Like, why don't settle? You know, do not settle. And he, he always encourages females about not settling so of course yes we're gonna have him on the show here in a couple weeks so be tuned for that stay tuned for that and while we're on that note i know valentine's day is coming up valentine's day is right around the corner some of you are probably already planning to give up the goods just because it's valentine's day Uh -uh 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 -uh. baby don't do it don't do it you're going to save yourself so much more heartache and pain and one thing I want you to take note of, if a dude that you're seeing, if a guy you're seeing all of a sudden starts an argument right around Valentine's Day, let that be a red flag. If y'all were planning to go out on a date and then all of a sudden he comes up with an argument saying, oh, you didn't call him back or, you know, he's mad at you for A, B, and C, make make sure you take note of that. That's a red flag. He's probably got somebody else he's he's trying to cake it up with. Okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, I'm learning the game bit by bit. And I want to put my sisters on game because I, I'm tired of seeing us get screwed over. I'm tired of seeing us get played. And so, like I said, if he's coming up with every excuse why he's mad at you all of a sudden, or he's mad because you went to go hang out with your homegirls or something, and he's just making up something real lame. Yes, please be weird, please. Don't fall for that nonsense. Don't even dare fall for that nonsense because that just means he's trying to get out of going on that date with you so he go be with somebody else. Nine times out of ten. 
you ain't got a fall price to that, okay? So, okay, again, if you want to get in on this conversation, don't forget you can click the chat icon at the bottom of the screen and I will see your comments. And we could chat it up right here, right now. It's Saturday, February the 7th. We're one week away from Valentine's Day and I'm so ecstatic. Now, ladies, if you do not have Valentine's, if you do not have anybody that you're seeing, make this a time to get with your homegirls. This is what I used to do back in the day, so... Don't think I'm just talking some crazy mess. But, nah, me and my homegirls, man, I was like, shoot, we ain't got to wait nobody come scoop us up. We go treat ourselves. I was I was to the point where I'm like, mm, I ain't got to have no man come bring me a, a teddy bear and some flowers or whatever. I could go get it for myself. And not only that, I got my homegirls, like, little hearts, <laughs> hearts of chocolate or something. And we made ourselves... Our own Valentine's. We were our own Valentine's dates. And so it was times we would go out to the movies all together. Me and my homegirls. And then we'd come home, chill, maybe cook a meal or whatever. And we just chatted up the whole night and talk about our future. Talk about our dreams, our desires and everything. And I tell you, those days were the good days. And I felt like I really wasn't missing anything. Everybody around us was booed up, but I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything because I was happy with me. I was happy with who I was. I was happy with Kier. And so at the end of the day, you have to make sure you're happy with you because if not, you're going to continue to go on that merry-go-round. You're going to continue to make the same mistakes over and over again and keep dealing with the same knuckleheads over and over again. Same knucklehead, different name. Right. Okay. So you ain't got to keep falling prey for all that. But yes, make Valentine's Day a day to pamper yourself, to kick with your homegirls. Invite your homegirls. If you know they ain't got no Valentine, if you know they don't have anybody, invite them over for dinner. Y'all watch a movie and y'all make it happen. Y'all enjoy y'all time together because this is a great time for you to bond as females and bond as friends because i'm telling you once you get ready to settle down with someone then all of that bonding time (laughs) is going to be like out the door you're probably going to miss it nine times out of ten i know as a mother and as a wife there are times that i just need to retreat and be with my home girls but because i know i have responsibilities i'm not always able to do that I love being a mom. I love being a wife, but I'm not always able to do that because I have responsibilities. And so for that reason, I still have to answer to home first. And then after home is taken care of, then maybe I have the opportunity to hang out with my homegirls. But that's if they don't have anything going on. That's if they're free, if they're not booed up or if they're available. So right now, while the time is there, Make it happen. Make it happen. All right. Well, it's about that time for us to wrap up. We are coming to the end of the show again. Next Saturday. Make sure you tune in. You don't want to miss next Saturday because I'm going to have a little bit of special show. You know, a little something special, special for you all. So I want to make sure you all tune in next Saturday, Valentine's Day. That's it. That's the day. It's Valentine's Day. And I am looking forward to that show. I'm excited because I'm going to celebrate the love bugs. Have a little something, something for you all. All right. Well, again, my name is Kiara D, and this has been another great episode of The Love Factor. Make sure you check me out. I'm on Instagram now. Hey, yes, your girl is coming up. One Kiara underscore D, okay? The number one, Kiara, K-I-E-R-R-A underscore D. And that's my Instagram name. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, I also have a Facebook page, One Kiara D, and Exalted Entertainment Facebook page page so you can check out both of those and that's how you connect with me okay don't forget to check us out on youtube exalted entertainment has a youtube page so make sure you check that all out and until next time y'all have a wonderful and blessed saturday love y'all signing off
Have a good week. Have a wonderful and blessed Saturday. Love y'all. Mwah. Here, Sign it off. Have a good week.